Poland has taken moves in Parliament to destroy the independence of its judiciary. I should point out, as a Eastern European myself, that during the communist era, many people suffered, tortured and killed uh, in prison or by the communist authorities in general with the help of puppet courts. And now Poland is moving in a direction where the politicians will again have power over the judiciary. Obviously not to the same extent as during the communist era, but it's, it's a fairly sad day, I think, when a country that went through the occupation by the Soviets, um, a country which dealt with all those decades of communist control, would do something like this. So anyway, from political. Poland's parliament backs bill tightening political control over Supreme Court. A bill giving Poland's ruling law and justice party extensive control over the judiciary, one that could push the European Union one step closer to pursuing sanctions against Warsaw, cleared a key parliamentary hurdle Thursday. Poland's lower house of parliament, the Shems, approved legislation that would force all members of the country's Supreme Court into retirement. Poland's president, upon the request of the justice minister, gets to decide which judges may remain on the court. The measure sparked critics fear that Poland is shifting away from being a Western democracy and opposition-backed demonstrations were planned across the country on Thursday night. The vote came after two other bills aimed at giving the government control over the selection of judges throughout the country's legal system or approved last week. Under one bill, the Council for the Judiciary, a body responsible for the nomination of new judges, would be dissolved, and Parliament would be given the power to select all of its new members. Under the second bill, Poland's powerful justice minister would be empowered to nominate and remove the chairpersons and senior officials of regional and appeal courts. The new law will now be sent to the Senate for approval, where law and justice also has a majority. All three pieces of legislation require the signature of Polish President Duda, who has expressed apprehension over some of the proposed reforms. However, law and justice made tweaks to accommodate some of Duda's concerns. It will now take a three-fifths majority in Parliament to choose new judges for a council for the judiciary rather than a simple majority. As the President recently said, he supports the party's broad aim to revamp the court system. The legislation is likely to be signed into law. Critics worried the legal changes will leave the country's top judicial body in the hand of Poland's executive branch and law and justice. The Polish government has come under considerable criticism at home and abroad for what some policymakers and legal scholars believe in is an effort to undermine checks and balances since winning power in 2015. Instead of mending this big house of justice, you place an explosive under its foundation. It's a very sad day for Poland and for all of us. Tensions could be felt in Poland's parliament, and so on and so forth. Criticism from the European Union. Um, and really, this is from um, Donald Tusk, who is, you know, former pro uh, Polish prime minister. Bring judges under control of the government party in a manner proposed by the Law Justice Party ruins an already tarnished public opinion of Polish democracy. The situation, including at international level, is really serious, and that is why I'm asking for serious measures and serious partners. So, in effect, what the Polish ruling party is doing right now is that they are taking control of the courts, slowly but steadily. They're, in a way, taking steps from Erdogan, who also you know, did things slowly but steadily, and that's how he gained the power that he has right now. Now, is Poland going to be sanctioned? That's probably one very significant detail to be discussed here. No, it's not going to be sanctioned because Hungary would likely veto any sanctions uh, that could be imposed on Poland. There's also not going to be a lot of criticism from the United States on Poland because well, it's very, uh, Poland is a very important country when it comes to opposing Russia, and the current government of Poland is firmly anti-Russia, and because, hey, the Russian obsession, uh, then you will not see criticism of Poland. Look, we have a serious problem in Eastern Europe. Across all the countries of Western Europe, former Warsaw Pact members, former Soviet Union members, in that 
the legal system, the judiciary in all these countries is broken. But the solution that they're proposing here is not workable. It's just making the courts political. Uh, it's making them partisan. And it's going to affect the the independence of the judiciary in a very significant way. I mean, the, the courts are already broken. Uh, a lot, to, you know, a lot that people get away with in the justice system, systems across Eastern Europe you know, is reprehensible. But now it's going to uh, get a lot worse because of this decision by the ruling party in Poland. And, you know, this is a party that's been causing numerous scandals ever since um, they gained power in 2015. And this is just the latest piece of controversy on the list. So things are pretty bad when it comes to, to Poland, but they're going to be able to get away with. In fact, that's what they're counting on because of their position, because of their opposition to Russia, because of the fact the Baltics need them, because of their alliance with Hungary, with Viktor Orban. Because of all of that, they get to get to, to get away with all of this. And no one does anything. America won't do anything. The European Union won't do anything. Should they? Well, the answer to that question is yes and no. I mean, in the sense that it's not acceptable what Poland is doing. At the same time, a lot of people are tired of, you know, being talked down to by America. Especially, you know, after all the things that America has been doing over the last two decades or so. Uh, and a lot of people are, you know, are tired of being talked down to by Germany, France, in France. In particular, Poland, because they're, Poland is very concerned about Russia, and yet Germany and France are not serious at all about dealing with Russia. So, you have these kind of moves uh, occurring right now. You know, in Poland, then you have Turkey. You have great concerns with what what's going on there. You have problems in Greece. You have Hungary. You have all kinds of problems across uh, Eastern Europe. But hey. Let's go talk. Uh, let's go back to talking about Russia. And you know, ju I just want to take a second here. The whole Russia mania that's in the media, right? The whole obsession about Russia. Not only is it just plain stupid. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about the things that have been happening because some of them are important. But the focus has been on Trump and Russia as opposed to the overall effect. The, the tensions with Russia have had on Europe, for instance, or Middle East, or other regions of the world. You know, because that affects a lot of people, millions upon millions of people. So, I mean, the current party in Poland is where it is right now, in part because of those tensions in Russia, and because they've been able to use Polish concern over Russia, Polish hatred over Russia, resentment over Russia, to their political benefit. And now they get to do things like this. Kosini here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you like my political content, please consider supporting me via Patreon or PayPal.